Yes, tuberculosis, uh, there is lot of treatment now. You have preventive treatment. You have tuberculosis treatment that is drug sensitive. Drug sensitive tuberculosis treatment you have and then you have drug resistant tuberculosis treatment. So, did you understand guys? So, basically treatment of tuberculosis, you have a lot of things uh, and uh, latest, a lot of things are latest. So, just look at this. Uh, how did we get this information? You should know first. So, just search for uh, tuberculosis um, India and you will get the website there you can get all the guidelines. So basically the document that gives about this preventive treatment, sensitive treatment, drug resistant treatment, these will be like thousands of pages in those um, guidelines. Anyways, we will just try to see what and all is um, important. Preventive treatment, that means anybody who, who you think is exposed and you want to prevent the formation of uh, tuberculosis, like basically who people who are living with HIV, right, PPLHIV, and uh, if there are uh, people who are in contact with an active TB case, right, what is HHC? Household contacts, is it? HHC. So, all these people, they want to uh, target and they want to prevent tuberculosis in these people. Or anybody who is immunosuppressed, right, if they are undergoing dialysis, transplantation, etc. So, basically, they want to prevent uh, tuberculosis in these people, guys. So, what will you give? Look at the treatment options. Just remember this much. Isoniazid and there is an R here, but it is not rifampicin. It is a re it is rifa. Pentin, Rifa, it is Rifampicin like but it is not Rifampicin, it is Rifa, Pentin. Okay, so you have to write these two drugs guys for uh, prevention of tuberculosis. What are the two drugs you will write? Isoniazid and Rifa Pentin. Okay, that's it. So we have, uh, we are showing you the regimen also here. So just don't go to all these details. I would say at the moment, let's learn just like, like this. There's some Isoniazid monotherapy, there is some Isoniazid plus rifapentin. Just look at that. There are two drugs for uh, prevention. Okay. This is called as TPT regimen. TPT is what? Tuberculosis prevention treatment. Okay. Actually, it is tuberculosis preventive treatment. Okay. So, we are done with one part of the story that we started. Tuberculosis prevention treatment, uh, isoniazid and rifapentin. Very good. Now, let us look at the algorithm to treat tuberculosis. That means a person has tuberculosis. How will you treat? Okay, there is a huge algorithm here, but don't worry, we will simplify it. Look at this on top. All presumptive TB or uh, key population, okay, that is anybody exposed to uh, TB, HIV patients, etc. Uh, they want to uh, consider them as presumptive TB and, uh, TB and you want to check them, okay. All TB patients, that means these are microorganism confirmed kind of TB patients, right. And then you have people who are taking TB uh, treatment, but they are not responding. So, that is also kind of a TB patient only. So, in all these people, what they are doing? <clears throat> they are doing NAAT, that is NAT, that is nucleic acid amplification test. What are they trying to check here? Rifampicin resistance. So, if there is rifampicin resistance, you will come on this side and you will look for the algorithm. And if it is rifampicin sensitive, you go on the other side. Okay. Now, if it is rifampicin sensitive, what will you do? Basically, you will start the drug sensitive tuberculosis treatment. Right? That is what they are explaining here, you can see. So, if it is, uh, if there is no rifampicin resistance, you can give the drug sensitive tuberculosis uh, regimen, which is what? We will come to all that, but then look at this. There is something else added to the story. What if it is rifampicin sensitive? Okay, but it is isoniazid resistant. Okay, they will check for. They will do first line line probe assay, right? And they will check isoniazid resistant. Then what they are doing? They are giving one more treatment regimen here, which is called as the H. That is isoniazid <coughs> mono or poly drug resistant tuberculosis regimen. Okay. So, we will look at this regimen. So, two regimens you have understood that there are uh, two regimens here already that you have seen. Drug sensitive tuberculosis regimen and H monopoly drug resistant tuberculosis regimen. Is it becoming too much people? So, basically did you understand that? What did you see? There is rifampicin resistance or rifampicin sensitivity. If it is sensitive to rifampicin, they will check whether it is uh, resistant to isoniazid. If, is it, if it is sensitive to rifampicin, what will they do? They are uh, telling that you give the drug sensitive tuberculosis regimen, right? If it is sensitive to rifampicin but it is resistant to isoniazid, they are talking about isoniazid mon mono or poly drug resistant tuberculosis regimen. So, two regimens that you have understood now. There is one drug sensitive, there is one isoniazid mon mono poly drug resistant tuberculosis regimen, okay? So, two things you have understood two regimens are there here that you have understood, right? The names at least. Now, let us say we come on this side, okay? And then there is rifampicin resistance that you have detected. Once you have detected rifampicin resistance, they will check resistance for everything else on earth, okay? Looks like they will do first line line probe assay, second line 
then they were doing some lc dst is that uh, liquid culture is it dst is definitely drug sensitive testing okay so basically we we'll just zoom in here <coughs> so here rifampicin resistance is detected so they are checking resistance for what and all they are checking resistance for isoniazid fluoroquinolone they are checking resistance for pyrazinamide bedaquilin then clofazimine moxifloxacin linozolid delamanid they are checking um, uh, the resistance for all these drugs okay so you know these uh, uh, full forms i hope so they are checking resistance for everything on earth then they are uh, just checking so they, they did not detect any other resistance so rifampicin resistance okay but other than this they did not detect any other resistance very good okay or they detected that there is some resistance to isoniazid some resistance but not both kind of a thing they are saying some resistance to isoniazid they are talking about that time they are giving some shorter oral bedaquilin containing mdr slash rrtb regimen okay rifampicin resistant tuberculosis regimen so what is the regimen called now shorter oral bedaquilin containing regimen okay that much you remember now what is what are they saying is there in this regimen bedaquilin bedaquilin is anyways is there in the longer one also but anyways there is they are telling that shorter oral bedaquilin containing uh, mdr slash rrtb regimen okay so did you understand so rifampicin resistant where are we here rifampicin resistant kind of they did not detect any other resistance they are giving you shorter oral bedaquilin containing mdr slash rrtb regimen one more regimen name you got right now there is just one last one here that you should know here so basically here they are saying that uh, rifampicin resistance yes and when you checked for other things there are other resistances like isoniazid resistance is there right um, or there is fluoroquinolone resistance so lot of other resistances okay what and all are they saying i and fluoroquinolone okay so lot of other resistances are there so in these people they are talking about longer oral regimen it also contains bedaquilin but they have not mentioned it in the name okay so basically you can see here that everything is oral they are focusing a lot on oral regimen not on no injections right so they are talking about oral oral so what are the only four regimens you have to learn here drug sensitive tuberculosis regimen h mono let me use a better color wait drug sensitive tuberculosis regimen you have to learn then you have to learn h mono or poly drug resistant tuberculosis uh, regimen you have to learn this one shorter oral bedaquilin containing uh, regimen longer oral xdrtb regimen okay so these are the four things you have to learn but based on a lot of other complications like is the drug available is there any other resistance basically is there any uh, pregnancy or uh, child is it a child or is there some hepatitis or hiv based on all that there are a lot of modifications to these regimens guys so there are a lot of other regimens there are weight bands and lot of things that you should know like we told you it will be like thousands of pages if you read details of this so only four regimens you have to learn now which are the four regimens that you have to learn drug sensitive tuberculosis regimen h mono slash poly drug resistant then here you are going to learn shorter oral bedaquilin containing regimen longer oral xdr tb regimen okay let's get started with this one drug sensitive tuberculosis regimen so drug sensitive tuberculosis regimen standard you know this that is 2 months of hrze and to a four months of hre so intensive phase isoniazid rifampicin ethambutol and pyrazinamide right and in the four months you will put hre that is you are removing only pyrazinamide everything else continues isoniazid rifampicin ethambutol right so that's it guys this is standard this is whom you will give there is nothing like category 1 category 2 new old nothing if it is drug sensitive you are going to give this treatment okay this minus can be confusing Okay, so you understood drug sensitive tuberculosis regimen. Great, guys. So you finished one regimen. You finished the drug sensitive one. Now let us move on to this one. Mono, poly, all that. Okay, this is very easy to understand. See here, it is rifampicin sensitive. But what has happened? Isoniazid is isoniazid is it is not sensitive. So just remove this, right? So instead of H R. Z E, you will remove this H, right? Because it is rifampicin sensitive but isoniazid resistant. You are just replacing that H with L F X, that is levofloxacin. So it will become L F X R Z E. 
and this year also you are giving total 6 to 9 months. Okay. Did you understand? HRZD you knew, right? In that, just remember, isony adset resistance is there. So, they are putting I instead of I, they are putting LSX. Okay. They have written it here. See, H mono or poly drug resistant tuberculosis regimen, rifampicin resistance is not detected. Isony acid resistance is detected. Okay. Now, what is left, guys? So, you saw drug sensitive, you saw mono isoniazid, mono, poly and all that. Now let us move on to, this is actually called as H, right? It should not write I. Isoniazid, mono, poly, etc. Okay, now let us move to this side where you have rifampicin resistance. Here what and all you have? Shorter oral bedaquilin containing and then longer oral bedaquilin. Now we will look at shorter oral. See, shorter oral bedaquilin. See, we will try to simplify this. Don't worry, okay? What is there? H, R, Z, E, H, R, E. This is your standard regimen, right? In this, you have to remove what? Rifampicin you should remove because it is resistant to rifampicin. So, HZ D will continue and HE will continue. But in this case, they have removed H also. So, E is continuing. Anyways, remember here, H, Z, E. HZ D is there. What else is extra? Bedaquilin containing regimen obviously will have bedaquilin. Okay, what else is extra? L, C, E. That is levofloxacin, clofazamine and etionamide. Right? What is ETO? ETO is ethionamide. Ethionamide, isn't it? Ethionamide. H is there, but here they have written ETO. So, LCE is extra. Like lace you can remember. Okay? So, can you tell me the shorter oral bedaquilin regimen? Okay, we will write here. Shorter oral bedaquilin containing MDR, RRTB regimen. Okay, I will write that here. It is bedaquilin has bedaquilin, LCE because I know you said lace or something and then what else? In HRZE, I should remove R, so HZE. There are two E's, so remember this is ethambutol and this one or you can say this is ethionamide. Okay. What else do you have here? Here you have Interestingly, there is no H here. Okay, this is very unique. There is no H here. So, you have LCE, same LCE and you have a Z here. Okay, pyracinamide. Is it becoming too much guys? You will have to remember it. Can you say the shorter oral bedaquilin containing MDR slash RR drug resistant TB? Okay, so it is bedaquilin is there, levofloxacin, clofazamine, ethionamide, Isoniazid, pyrazinamide, ethambutol. Okay. Very good. So, you got this part of it. Right. Very good. This side you have LCEZ you can remember. Okay. We are done with shorter bedaquilin, shorter oral bedaquilin containing MDR slash rifampicin resistant tuberculosis regimen is over. Now, let's go back to that flow chart so that we just find ourselves again. Is that flow chart thing? This one. No. This one. Flow chart. So, we are done with this uh, tuberculosis uh, drug sensitive one. This regimen. This H monopoly we finished. We finished oral, uh, shorter oral. Now, let us look at longer oral M slash XDR TB regimen. Okay. It's long. It is less than two years. Okay. Basically, the short one was less than one year. Look at this. Short one. Did we finish short one? We didn't tell you the duration. Oh, oh, oh. Short one, basically, guys, uh, four months, five months, or around nine months, nine months to 11 months. So, it is one year. Okay. So, short one will be less than a year kind of treatment. Okay. But when you come to long one, it is less than two years. Less than 2 years. Okay, like 18 months to 20 months. See, and there is, they are not talking about some continuous or intensive in this. Okay. So, basically what are they giving here? They are giving bedaquilin. Same bedaquilin is being given in short and long. But there the name says shorter oral containing bedaquilin. This also containing bedaquilin only. Okay. Duration, they are very specific. 6 months, um, you should be using it after uh, that with caution like that. Levofloxacin, linozolid, clofazamine, cyclo. Serin, cycloserin, okay. CS is cycloserin, don't forget. CS is what? Cycloserin, okay. 
So basically, what they are telling here, see, there is everything they are giving here. L, B, L, C, L, C. How will you remember this? L, B, L, C, C. Give me a mnemonic for this. L, B, L, C, C. Can you remember like that only? L, B, L, C, C. It's long, long, long. Long, long, long. L, B, L, C, C. I'm just going to remember as L, B, L, C, C only. Okay. L, B, L, C, C. So basically, L, B, L, C, C. Levofloxacin, bedaquilin, linozolid, uh, clofazimine and cycloserin. Cycloserin. Okay. What is CFZ? Clofazimine. Very good. Clofazimine. So basically, why is bedaquilin and clofazimine in red? Look at this. Bedaquilin and clofazimine may lead to cardiotoxicity. Okay. So that's why you should be careful. That is why I have put that in red. Bedaquilin and clofazimine. What about this? Uh, are the others safe? Not at all. See, look at this. Uh, Linezolid. Zinezolid, they are saying you should taper it after six months. Why? Because it can cause anemia, thrombocytopenia, peripheral neuritis, optic neuritis, etc. Okay. So that is also not good. So we'll make this some kind of other color. Okay. Then what about this um, cycloserin? Cycloserin also they don't like so much. It can, uh, you should be using it carefully in pre-existing seizure disorders. Okay. So that is why all these um, drugs, no, they have lot of other regimens, variable, all um, mixture kind of things. Here you see on top. Where is that? Here. See, additional resistance, intolerance to anything, unavailability of these drugs, or is there some exclusion criteria for not using these drugs, then you'll have to make some a replacement kind of a regimen etc so we're not going into that so you have looked at what and all regimens drug sensitive tuberculosis regimen h mono poly drug resistant tuberculosis regimen shorter oral bedaquilin containing regimen longer oral m x d r t b regimen okay and don't forget you also looked at the preventive treatment where you're looking at you're giving what isoniazid and rifapentin and remember guys all these uh, drugs they have so many uh, so many conditions of usage, right? Where you can use which drug, etc. What is the weight band? For how much gram you should give for this much weight, right? Pediatrics, uh, pregnancy, etc. You should check a lot of things, okay? Now they want to remove this face out, this injectable uh, regimen, guys. They, they don't want injectables anymore. Like you saw in the names, everything is oral, oral, right?